Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve first PUC computer science MCQ questions on chapter 11 arrays. Question number one, the collection of elements where all the elements are same data type and under the same name is. Option A, normal variable, B, arrays, C, structure, D, function. Collection of all elements where the same data type under the same name are called arrays. So hence option B is the right answer. Question number two, an array can store option A, one element, B, many elements, C, zero elements, D, many data types. Here option C, zero elements is the correct answer. Question number three, the method of numbering the ith element with the index i minus one is option A, zero based indexing, B, I minus one based indexing, C, ith based indexing, D, multi based indexing. Here, option A, zero based indexing is the right answer. Question number four, index of an array starts with option A, zero, B, one, C, two, D, n minus one. So always uh, index of an array starts with zero. Hence, option A is the right answer. Question number five, what is the subscript of the first element of any array? Option A, zero, B, one, C, two, D, n minus one. So always array subscript starts with zero. Hence option A is the right answer. Question number six, what is the data type of the array subscript? Option A, integer, B, float, C, char, D, wide. Here, the array subscript is beginning from 0 to n minus 1. Hence, 0 to n minus 1 represent integer number. That's the reason option A, integer is the right answer. Question number 7, an array subscript is always A, positive, B, negative, C, both positive and negative, D, null. Array subscript always positive. Hence, option A is the right answer. Question number 8, which of the following is used to access elements of an array? Option A, data type, B, array name, C, subscript, D, size. So each and every element of the array can be accessed with the help of subscript. Hence, option C is the right answer. Question number nine, object in an array is called as option A, indexes of an array, option B, elements of an array, C, functions of an array, D all of these. So objects of an array is also called elements of an array. Hence option B is the right answer. Question number 10. What is the index or subscript of the last element having 10 elements? Here options are A 0, B 9, C 7, D 10. So whenever we start with the index number 0, so it always ends with n minus 1. So let us suppose we have 10 elements that starts from index number 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. If we have 10 elements, then it ends at 9. Hence option B, 9 is the correct answer. Question number 11, which of the following is the declaration syntax of one dimensional array? Option A, data type, array name, inside of the square bracket size. B, data type, array name, array name, data type, size, array name, data type. Here, option A, data type, array name, and inside of the square bracket size is the correct answer. Question number 12, which of the following correctly declares an array? So here, option A is int array. B int array inside the square bracket 10, C e int array inside the round bracket 10, D int array inside the curly open and closing braces 10. So always arrays will be represented in a square bracket. Hence option B int array inside the square bracket 10 is the right answer. Question number 13, which of the following is the syntax of initialization of one dimensional array? First option number A, data type, array name, size is equal to inside the curly open and closing braces, list of elements, 
semicolon here data type array name size is equal to inside the square bracket list of elements option c data type array name inside the round bracket size is equal to curly open and closing brace list of elements option d data type array name inside of the square bracket size is equal to inside of the round bracket list of elements here option a data type array name inside of the square bracket size and inside of the curly open and closing braces list of elements will come hence option a is the right answer question number 14 which of the following correctly initializes the elements of one dimensional array option a int a of 3 is equal to 1 2 3 option b int a inside of the round bracket 3 is equal to inside of the round bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 int c sorry c int a of curly open and closing braces 3 is equal to inside of the square bracket 1 2 3 d all of these here option a is the right answer question number 15 write the array declaration to store 100 elements of data type int option a int a square bracket 100 b int a is equal to 100 c int a of 100 inside of the round bracket uh, option d int a is equal to 100 in curly open and closing braces so here option a int a inside of the square bracket 100 is the correct array declaration so question number 16 one dimensional array of one dimensional array is option a one dimensional array b two dimensional array c three dimensional array d multi dimensional array one dimensional array of one dimensional array is two dimensional array hence option b is the right answer question number 17 one dimensional array of two dimensional array is option a one dimensional array b two dimensional array c three dimensional array d all of the above one dimensional array of two dimensional array is three dimensional array hence option c is the right answer question number 18 which of the following is the declaration syntax of two dimensional array option a data type array name inside the square bracket row size uh, column size b data type array name inside the round bracket row size column size option c data type array name inside the curly open and closing braces row size column size option d array name data type inside the square bracket row size column size so here first we are going to write data type array name and inside the square bracket row size and column size hence option a is the correct answer question number 19 which of the following is the syntax to initialize uh, initialization of two dimensional array option a data type array name inside of the square bracket row size column size is equal to inside of the curly open and closing braces list of elements option b data type array name inside of the round opening and closing braces row size column size is equal to list of elements option c data type array name curly open and closing braces row size column size is equal to list of elements option d array name data type inside of the square bracket row size and column size is equal to list of elements so here data type array name inside of the square bracket row size column size is equal to list of elements in the curly open and closing braces is the right answer hence option a is the correct answer question number 20 which of the following correctly initialize the elements of two dimensional arrays option a int a of 3 is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 option b int a of 2 2 is equal to inside the curly open and closing braces we have written 10 20 30 40 c int a of 2 2 is equal to 10 20 30 40 is written in round opening and closing braces option d int a of 2 2 is equal to in a square bracket 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 is written so here option b is the right answer so here data type name of the array row size is 2 and column size is 2 2 to the 4 4 elements must be initialized and that should be written in curly opening and closing braces hence option b is the right answer now we'll go for question number 21 which of the following array can be represented uh, representing the matrices so options are a one dimensional array b two dimensional array c three dimensional array d multi dimensional array in order to represent the matrices minimum two dimensions must be there hence option b 
टू डायमेंशनल अरे इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू एन अरे इन विच ईच एलिमेंट इज एक्सेस बाय यूजिंग एन सब्सक्रिप्ट ऑप्शन ए वन डायमेंशनल अरे बी टू डायमेंशनल अरे सी जीरो डायमेंशनल अरे डी मल्टी डायमेंशनल अरे तो हियर एन सब्सक्रिप्ट आर देर हेन इट इज मल्टी डायमेंशनल अरे क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द डिक्लेरेशन सिंटैक्स ऑफ टू डायमेंशनल अरे ऑप्शन ए डेटा टाइप अरे नेम इन साइड द स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट रो साइज एंड कॉलम साइज ऑप्शन बी डेटा टाइप अरे नेम इन साइड द राउंड ब्रैकेट रो साइज एंड कॉलम साइज ऑप्शन सी डेटा टाइप अरे नेम इन साइड द करली ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग ब्रेसेस रो साइज कॉलम साइज ऑप्शन डी अरे नेम डेटा टाइप इन साइड द स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट वी हैव रिटन रो साइज एंड कॉलम साइज हियर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट ऑप्शन ए डेटा टाइप अरे नेम एंड इन साइड द स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट रो साइज एंड कॉलम साइज इज द राइट आंसर so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this video we will see you in the next video